Hey guys, and welcome to Economics and Comics. If you're new to the channel, I really hope you enjoy this. I'm going to break it down on why I think Secret Wars is the next big event. Now, I have it all set up so we can go through it all and really look at it in detail. I think you're really going to enjoy. If you like this video, please sub. If you like comic book stuff, pop culture stuff, this is the channel for you. And let's get into it. Okay, so before we begin, I want to show you the timeline of what it took to get to Infinity War. We're talking 11 years, 21 plus movies, stuff like that. You know, you have phase one, phase two, and phase three. Lots and lots of movies, lots of franchises, took a long time. And Avengers Infinity War and Endgame were so huge that and it took so long to build to it it was really important they did it the right way and finished it in the right way so here i'm going to show you now why i believe for sure fingers crossed that secret wars will be the new big event okay bear with me so on the top left of your screen we have Dark Phoenix, that's the next movie up. X-Men was Fox, okay? They did one, two, and three, and then they did first class one, two, three, okay? One, two, yeah, I think so. Now, re uh, Dark Phoenix, I think, will be the end. Now that MCU's bought them, after that, they're going to reboot it. Now, I know we're going to probably have to get a new Wolverine, but if you use the first class team and you keep them involved, they're all young, and they can last another 10 years because to pull off a major event that's bigger than infinity war and endgame it's going to take another 10 to 11 years just like before now spider-man is still going we have another movie in two months they can introduce you know different new characters lizard doc ock uh you know green goblin they can introduce a bunch of new people and he's very young and he'll last another 10 years as well so Spider-Man's going to keep going, and I think they're going to reboot the X-Men. Now, in order to do this, first of all, we still have Guardians of Galaxy that's going to continue. We have Doctor Strange that's going to continue. We have Captain Marvel that's going to continue. We have Black Panther that's going to continue. Ant-Man, possibly Thor, but they can use Thor in Guardians of the Galaxy. And Black Widow. I think that's going to be a solo movie. Now, I believe they've been hinting at introducing Namor through Black Panther. Now, in Avengers Endgame and a couple other movies, but in Avengers Endgame specifically, they talk about water anom anomalies or something underneath Wakanda. It's a perfect way to introduce Namor to the MCU. Um... Also, they might be able to introduce Storm that way, and that will, in turn, bring the X-Men to life. Uh, now, Iron Man, okay? He's dead. It's over with. But they might use Falcon or Rhodes to be the new Iron Man. Either War Machine or the Falcon could be the new Iron Man. And what they'll do is... One of them will become Iron Man, and then if it's Falcon, he can give the shield to Bucky, and he can become the new Captain America, because Captain America is over as well. In my mind, it's over. I think he's done. So those two series, Iron Man and Captain America, I think they're done with, okay? Avengers, I'm not sure yet. Now, they, I'm pretty sure this is a 10, 11-year completion. That's over with, too. But they might introduce new Avengers. Now, they can keep the Avengers going by adding them to the Spider-Man storyline here and there. Black Panther, Thor. They can be in there here and there, like Iron Man's in Spider-Man every once in a while. But they need to keep Captain America and Iron Man to get to Secret Wars, okay? Now, in Secret Wars, Captain America is James Rhodes. It's not Tony Stark. And it, or excuse me, Iron Man 
is James Rhodes, not Tony Stark. And Captain America can easily be Bucky Barnes, okay? Easily. And they're young enough. It's about, in my mind, it's about age. Can these actors continue going for another 10 years and play different parts? It's a perfect marriage. Now, by getting rid of Iron Man and Captain America, they need to bring in the two big hitters to do this, which will be fantastic for, and you know they're going to reboot it, and they're going to do a good job, fingers crossed. And X-Men, of course, has to be rebooted. Now, they'll introduce all the new characters to the MCU and mix them in with all these other movies that are still going, okay? Now, by doing that, let's just say Black Panther introduces Namor, which is a, a ripple effect introducing other characters. X-Men will be rebooted. It'll introduce Magneto. FF will be rebooted, and it'll introduce Doom. And then it'll go to a Galactus Silver Surfer type of thing. And you'll think, well, maybe Galactus is the main bad guy. I don't think so. I think it'll be maybe halfway in, about four or five years in, okay? Galactus. Magneto, Dr. Doom, and Galactus are three major components for Secret Wars, as well as X-Men, Fantastic Four, and the Avengers. So, they'll be introduced, Spider-Man will be introducing all new characters. Guardians will probably be introducing new characters, as well as Doctor Strange. Black Panther could introduce a couple people. Um, and during all these, Captain America and Iron Man situation can be happening throughout all these movies, okay? Will re be a reintroduction to all these guys, and eventually it will tie all in to Secret Wars, okay? Which will be gigantic. You have to look at it in the long term. Avengers Infinity War and Endgame took 11 years, but in the last full year, we had N uh, Infinity War and Endgame. They were a year apart. So you could do 10 years of all these other movies, introducing X-Men and Fantastic Four, and keeping all these characters still going. And then the last year, they can do The Secret Wars 1 and 2. Now, they could do a three-part. Because Secret Wars is such a big event, it would be very interesting to see them not... Most likely, it would be two. But you have to look long run. 11 years, technology in 2030 will be so much better. They can make a Secret Wars that will be out of the, this world. I mean, Endgame was great, but just imagine 10 years from now, uh, Secret Wars. So what I'm trying to say is, the major player, the biggest bad guy, that one of the biggest bad guys, would be the Beyonder, okay? Now, he's always been watching Earth, and he want, he's interested in humans and different things like that. So I think they'll sprinkle him out throughout all these other movies and franchises and then you'll get a glimpse at the end but they're going to keep it hush hush the biggest tip for me okay now i know they spoil they they were teasing namor but the biggest tip to me is you know i was looking in avengers uh and i was like where is the new bad guy where is the thing where's the secret when hulk was holding the avengers building okay and he was I mean, it's Secret Wars number four cover, without a doubt. I was like, there it is. That has to be it. They're alluding to another huge 10, 11 year thing. New introduction of movies, new characters, new villains, and the build up to Secret Wars. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Secret Wars is the way they're gonna go? I sure do. And I hope they do it justice. they got another 11 years to get it done. It all makes sense to me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, please give me a like and sub me up. It's great to have you guys. And thanks again so much from Bill at Economics and Comics. Have a great one.